What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is never apologize for doing what's best for you. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're catching this. I'm in a great mood. It's actually 9 o'clock here, almost 9 o'clock here, Central Standard Time, and July 6th, as I'm filming this thing or recording this thing. I was just thinking about some stuff this morning, going through my rituals, going through what I do. And I wanted to talk to you guys about being yourself. Last night, as I'm blowing off fireworks and doing some stuff, I had a, uh, quite a few messages. And one in particular one stood out. Right? These are coming from guys that are not my clients yet. Most of my clients are doing well. Everyone did amazing through this, this 4th of July weekend. But I had this guy, and he's like, he, he doesn't want to go to rehab. He doesn't want to go to A. He doesn't want to do the things that he wants to go our way here. But his wife is telling him, you must go to rehab or you're going to, or I'm leaving you or I'm done with you and I'm losing your family. And I get it. Right? The stress from that has got to be overbearing. It's got to be overwhelming to deal with. Like you're about to lose everything if you don't take this choice for somebody else. Right? If I don't do what I want to do. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that I'm better or this comeback, this comeback thing and this brotherhood, this movement of men that are taking back territory day in and out is better. But I'm telling you this for the guys that work, it, it really, really works. I'm sure that's the same for AA. I'm sure that's for all the same thing. But the thing is, you've got to be able to have a mental connection to it. So what I really wanted to tell this guy, and I didn't get too much into it because it was my time with my family and seeing as the fact that I gave him a little bit of advice and let him go and roll. What I really want to tell him is this. As much as you love your wife, regardless of what you do here, if you don't go into some sort of choice and you don't do what's best for you, if you can't make a decision, a clear, concise, like draw a line in the sand and say, hey, this is how I want to get better. This is what I'm going to do, whether that's using me, whether that's using AA, rehab, I don't give a fuck. Nothing is going to work because you're going into it with a bad negative energy, right? You're going into the mindset that you don't really like it. And I know this and I can speak completely free about this and open and honest because when I did accept help and I went into a, a rehab for my first time, I went in under the circumstances that, yes, I finally admitted it. It felt great. that I was like, okay, to myself, I have a problem. I stopped fucking lying to myself for a minute. But I finally realized, like, I'm going to do this, but it wasn't for me. So I went in to suffice everybody. I went in to try to make sure I could get my son back. I went in to make sure I could keep my job. I didn't really want to fucking be there. So what I did was I never did what was best for me. And it wasn't until I finally built this thing that I did with best for me. But this isn't about me. This is about you and that guy and the listeners out there who are fucking trying to figure something out. But they're so busy pleasing everybody else that they can't stand up and be who they want to be. And I understand that because the decision, that process that they made, the fear, the guilt, and the pain that they put people through, they let those other people's thoughts overwhelm them. And they make decisions based on what they think the reaction they're going to get, or what they think the outcome is, instead of fucking standing up, being the man, doing what's best for you. Period. You can spread this across your business. You can spread this across your relationship. You can spread this across your, your addiction. You can spread this across parenting, whatever. Finance, it doesn't matter. Now, it doesn't mean to go out and be a fucking prick. That means to look at this code of ethics, figure out what you love, why you're doing what you're doing, and do what is right for you. Do what is right for your family. Do what is right every day that you get up. I don't care if that's hiring somebody to punch you in the balls every time you drink. I don't care if that's hiring somebody to make sure that you watch every fucking dollar that you spend so that your business doesn't implode. It doesn't matter. What I care about is that you finally stand up and you make a choice to decide to become the man you want to be. I finally want you guys to realize there's this power within. I I spoke about it yesterday on this door, this, this heavy steel wrought iron door with a little light creeping through there. You guys had that beacon of light. You don't fucking listen to this stuff. You don't go watch all these other guys, all these other influencers. I know how you guys consume content. You don't do that if you don't want more. You can listen to any person you want out there. As much as you want, you can fill your head as full of as much positive shit as you want, as much as rah, rah, I'm going to do shit. But you got to do what's right for you. And you never have to apologize. Had I sat back and listened and done things the way that everybody else wanted me to do things, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I wouldn't be in the relationship that I'm in, which is amazing. I wouldn't be the fucking dad that I am right now. 
my business would not be flourishing the way it's flourishing. I would not have changed in hundreds and hundreds of men's life like on the one-on-one basis, and I'm sure thousands. I'm sure there's more people that I've helped change their lives by the things that I say, the videos we put out, the actions that go out there than what I actually realize. I wouldn't be able to have this confidence to speak to you in absolute clarity and certainty, which is a motherfucking great thing to have, had I not done things my way, had I not been proud and took the steps to not care what anyone else thinks. And that came down to one decision. Make a choice to stop fucking lying. Period. So today, my brother, what are you going to fucking stop lying about? Don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be ashamed of the fact that you may have failed a bunch of times at these rehabs or AA or that you haven't even went yet because you're embarrassed and ashamed. That might not be for you. Don't be ashamed because you know inside of you want to be rich. Don't be ashamed because you know that you maybe might be in the wrong relationship and it's holding you back. Don't be ashamed of fucking anything and never, never, never fucking apologize for who you are. The minute you start apologizing to people for pointless, meaningless shit is the minute your life starts giving, you start giving the light and the power to other people. I'm not saying don't respect people, love people, cherish people. I give a fuck about a lot of people, what they think about my life, but I let them in my life because I changed everything about it and I surrounded myself with people who actually care, who I can actually rely on for real raw feedback. That doesn't mean shit at the end of the day. I take it, internalize it, and I still do what's best for me. Now, what's best for me isn't hurting people. So today, I want you to make a choice. I want you to make a choice to stop fucking lying to yourself. I want you to make a choice to stop being whatever, who everyone else wants you to be. Quit trying to fucking please your friends and drinks. Quit trying to get business done by drinking. If this motherfucker only will drink with you and do business with you, we live in a planet with 7 billion people. You can make money shining shoes. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Make a choice today. Stop fucking lying. Become the man you want to be. Click this link below. Here's the deal. As always, my team has got some time set aside. All you have to do is type in iamacomeback.com forward slash apply or go find one of my ads by link something out there that you can actually just click on and, and set up the time to reach out to us. We will leave you better than we found you. You know that. I've said this over and over and over. If it's your first time listening to this, we do what we do is calls. We get on. They're called breakthrough calls. You click the link. You fill out the application. We see if we're a fit. We leave you better than we found you. If you decide you want to join us, you join us. You become one of these elite group of men take it back territory. It's pretty cut and dry. We help you solve your problem. We get to the bottom of it, and you become the man you want to be, period. If that's you, click the link, and I'll see you on the call. If that's not you, keep watching. Keep doing what's best for you. Keep showing up, and you can do it. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I will see you on tomorrow's. Have an amazing day.